Hey guys, welcome to another Linux video. Now, one of the most used extensions that I have is Blur My Shell. And it just went through one hell of a transformation with this pipeline branch. And uh, that's not an understatement at all whatsoever. That is like, yeah, you know what? Let me just show you. So what this does is it has a new Monte Carlo blur. Uh, it's kind of cool looking. It's not as blurry. But it's still, you know, it it functions kind of cool. We're probably going to mess around with this. But as you can see, there's now pipelines. And the first pipeline is just native gauze blur, which is kind of cool. And if you hit the big X, it's gone. And then there's no blur. But if we go in here and we add the Monte Carlo blur, you can see it's this weird, noisy looking thing. I want to get rid of it. There's iterations. Like, I don't even know if this is doing anything. You know, I can make it super bright. You could tell that it is blurred, of course. And get rid of this. No, I don't like it for the main reason that it adds this weird noise effect on the panel. I kind of wish that would go away, you know, but it, yeah, it's kind of strange. Maybe if we just went down to like zero. And then there's just nothing. So iterations pretty much means that uh, it's blur amount. So let's max out the iterations and see what happens. 50? I mean, it looks like I'm looking through a piece of glass, which is kind of interesting, but I don't like it. And then we have, you know, native garrison blur and garrison blur. There's also pixelize, which is kind of cool. It just basically pixelizes everything. And there's, what does this do? This just makes things bigger. So what if we just went right down? All right. So yeah, it, it, it basically just pixelizes everything. It's kind of dorky, but I like it. I guess this opens up, you know, ways for adding certain effects. Like say if we wanted to add this with, you know, corner effects. Let's add that over there first. Look, there's a corner and there's a corner. So how does this work? Corner, just do this. Let's do 25. So now we have that. Top corners, disable. Bottom corners, disable, you know. Uh, so if we just wanted the top corner, we can. If we wanted the bottom corner, or the top corner and the bottom, it basically, it's interchangeable. And we can set this up for max blur, max brightness if we want it to. It, in all, it's a really cool pipeline that they've added here. So corners, most definitely not. I don't want that. I'm going to leave the native garrison blur. And for the dock, you have to add you have to add a corner down bottom. And mine is set to 19 at the moment because if I didn't, there would be black borders. And then the blur is set to max and there. But this is the only way to get corners. So you got your top corners and your bottom border, borders. So... Yeah, this is a very useful way for doing everything. It does overcomplicate things a little bit, but nonetheless, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, for some reason, when I do this, like you don't get the effects, you don't get to choose them or anything. It's just dynamic blur. And is that going to break when we do this? I mean, it sort of breaks. I can see like a little thing there, but I mean, I might stick with static instead. Dynamic seems pretty cool, but yeah. So this is a wicked update. It's still work in progress, of course, but I'm going to be using it, testing it, and giving feedback as much as I can. And if you want to jump in and do the same, I'm going to show you how to compile it because why the heck not? It's always good to learn how to compile stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to head to code. You're going to click pipelines. Then you're going to download this, okay? Once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to unzip it. Give me one second. I'm going to make sure there's nothing horrible in here. Because sometimes there's horrible stuff in here. And I just don't like it. Then you're going to go into here after unzipping it. And we're going to go in here. We're going to type make. And make install. Then you just log out and log back in. And you enable it. 
and that's it anyways thank you guys for watching the video i hope you found this useful for those people who use this extension if you didn't notice about this extension comment below and uh it's really lightweight it's really easy to use and it really overhauls the entire gnome desktop and makes it look really good and i love it bye everybody don't forget to like and subscribe